Is this safe, driving to Baghdad? Yes, very safe. 50-50. 50-50, what, like 50% we live, 50% we die? Yes, that's why we drive through night. It's much safer. How much safer? 50-50. I think it was probably surreal, but at the same time, I think that you know their their youth and their failure to really be able to fully acknowledge their circumstances or to know the the you know the the weight of their actions, I think probably made it much easier for them to navigate those environments. I think that they just saw themselves as these young, hungry wolves who had who who were going to capitalize on an opportunity while they could uh, before everyone found out about it. We're talking exclusive access to a stockpile of Soviet bloc non-standard weapons and ammo. That's gonna win this deal for us. He's on a terrorist watch list. Whatever, people end up on that list for bringing scissors onto an airplane. That's not why he's on the list. Look, the Pentagon wants 100 million rounds of AK-47 ammo in the middle of a worldwide shortage. Where do you think they think that's gonna come from? A bunch of shady mother like that guy. This is the job to do business with the people in places the U.S. government can't do business with directly. It's as simple as that. They're both very quick. They're both guys who are, you know, have, have good improvisational skills. So, um, you know, the scenes, always, the, the scenes always felt really alive. It was really cool to watch them uh, to go back and forth with each other and uh, to see the, you know, to, to see the scenes go beyond uh, where they had been on the page and to see them giving each other a hard time.